Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. If this video resonates with you, I'd really appreciate it if you like, shared, and subscribed. And if this video resonates with you and you want more information about your personal situation, um, check the description box. I have information down there about how to book a private reading with me. So, let's see what's going on for my Scorpios this coming week. Scorpio, messages for Scorpio. Ooh, some communication could be coming in very quickly here for you guys from somebody. Or some clarity about a decision or options, weighing options, and maybe to work on something here, to put effort into something. Mm. Or some type of breakup here or heartbreak. Maybe even a third party situation. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody that maybe broke your heart wants to invest in you now. The world. Something may have ended it for them. Some type of cycle may have ended for them. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now they're wanting to take action towards you and apologize here is what I'm seeing here. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles. All right. Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords? What's this communication? Yeah, there's that King of Wands again. Could definitely be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, somebody's taking action towards you because they want to new. They want to communicate to you about having a new passionate beginning here with you. Two, two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's made a decision. They were juggling two different things, or two, they were trying to find balance in their life, but they made a decision. They're coming in slowly but surely here. Nine of Pentacles. They want to give you that last pinnacle. They want to. They want to bring you from the nine to the ten. Ten of Pentacles. Something long term and stable. Settle down here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to have reciprocity with you and work on things. Maybe there was not a balanced relationship between the two of you guys in the past, and now they want that. What's this Three of Swords? Nine of Swords. <laughs> What's this Knight of Swords, Three of Swords? Yeah. They want to communicate to you why things ended um, between the two of you guys or why they broke up with you. Um, and it's like I said, it's because they were juggling something, struggling somebody else. They had too much on their plate. They were just very imbalanced person. And now they feel like they missed an opportunity with you. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, they want to take action towards you or to communicate to you that they want to heal the situation with you. They want to invest in you. They feel like your wish fulfillment for them. What's the world? They want to end conflict. They want to end a cycle of conflict, mental conflict, actual conflict. Um, and actually, they, they want to bring happiness into the situation. Um, move toward what, towards ma what makes them happy and, and fulfillment here. King of Wands. Yeah, they want to work on things. It's the same energies are coming through over and over again. Yeah, collaborate with you. Cooperate now. Page of Cups. What are they? The Emperor. Yeah, they want to be. What is this? The Emperor, the Page of Cups. Hold up. They want to apologize to you for. They want to take control and apologize to you for some type of conflict or tension between the two of you guys because of this breakup. Oh, but they could be dealing with the fire sign. There could be somebody. This person. What's this? Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, what's this? Three of Wands. Temperance. Hmm. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands, because I don't like that. So. Hmm. One more card, Spirit. Ten of Swords. Yeah, so what's that to do with this Queen of Wands? Two of Wands. Right, so this person was dealing with 
another obviously we know they were dealing with another feminine it could have been a fire sign an aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be um that's who they were having conf they're, they're taking control of some type of conflict that they had with this person um and there's some type of ending occurring between them and this person or it has already occurred um and they want to apologize there could have been drama between you them and this third party this queen of wands and they are taking control of the situation and they want to apologize to you that they maybe brought you into something that was messy um but there's been some type of ending with this queen of wands um they're like successfully ending something with them or winning some type of like battle with them um they feel like they went in the wrong direction they want to go in a new direction now and now they want to move towards um manifesting a reconciliation here with you or healing things with you or healing themselves too what's the queen of pentacles they're confused about you though i think you're this queen of pentacles energy they look at you very as a very abundant stable nurturing um successful yeah they're confused on whether or not you're gonna be cold towards them they're a little bit hesitant to come towards you because they think that they're gonna you're gonna be like goodbye but they want to speak some type of truth to you. They do want to communicate with you because I feel like you guys have not been talking. Um, they've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of healing. So let's see. Yeah, they've been uh, really overthinking this love connection with you. They've been feeling like they're up, they're in their feelings pretty much um, because they feel such a strong connection with you and they feel like they mess things up. Um, but the divine is bringing, is doing something. There's a divine intervention happening in the situation with you and this person. All right. I feel like the divine is pushing them towards you. What's the ace of wands ascending? Yeah. Somebody here, um, wants to tell you that they've been, they've changed they've gotten through some type of obstacle which was with this third party i'm getting learning expansion new phase preparing for union yeah they're trying to prepare to be in a union with you nine of pentacles oops hold up yeah oh hold on in your own time take your time active have a relaxed attitude be more lighthearted. meditate yeah i feel like they just feel like um or they've been taking such a slow time because they've been trying to like get their attitude together. They've been trying to wait till they feel like they're ready, trying to lighten up because I feel like they are feeling a lot of anxiety and fears. They're trying to lighten up, have a more relaxed attitude about the situation before they come forward to you. That's why it's taking so long. Six of pumpkins. <sighs> yeah, they weren't reciprocating with you. First of all, this person could be really like obsessing over the fact that they didn't, they, they're they they're obsessed about the fact that they did not give to you in the past. Um, but this person could also have not been giving to you in the past because they were, they had some outdated ways of thinking um, and conditioning here. All right, what's this? Love. Yeah, it's like, they missed an opportunity with you because they were, they, they feel like they missed an opportunity because they were juggling and there was a breakup here, but they realize they have unconditional love for you. One is passion, affection, attraction. Seven of Pentacles, the star, page of wands. The unsaid. Yeah, this person wants to communicate to you what they have not been telling you in the past. Showing I love you or like you without physically saying it didn't say it yet but i feel like with the page of wands they're going to tell you now the world nine of cups healthy choices yeah they're ending um they're ending something that has been toxic to them to make a healthy choice and they feel like you're the healthy choice um self-love self-care yeah they're trying to love themselves more and become happier here three of Pent pentacles king of wands wicked oh hold on um mischievous naughty harmful dangerous false portrayal lie cheat beware what does that have to do with this dating what's the wicked card why yeah this person regrets heavily um what they were doing the lying the cheating they're frustrated with themselves 
now they're trying to figure out how to solve this because they know they've created a lot of damage. Um, but now they're like, well, I do. I want to work on things with them. I do want to collaborate with them. Now I'm going to take action towards them. I know I was, you know, toxic. I didn't treat them right, but now they want to date. R will likely be dating, like each other, enjoying each other's company, seeing each other. Yeah, they want to see you. What's this over here? Yeah, somebody's getting clarity here. Somebody's breaking free from something. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection. Yes, yeah, somebody's sticking up for themselves too, defending themselves, power, taking back their power. Separation, yep, separating from something that was toxic or something that was somebody that was controlling them. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Yeah, and they're sad about this separation with you as well. What's this Queen of Pentacles, the lovers, Ace of Swords, Four Swords? Core values. Yeah, they feel like they, they're very attracted to your abundance. They're very attracted to your stability, your nurturing qualities. And they feel like you guys align. Like you guys are both want the same things. Um, let me get one more card. What else? Oops. Let's see. It's a plan. So yeah, they want to uh getting they want to ask you out, or they're gonna text message or call with intent to date, tentative plans, making solidifying a plan. So you're gonna help hear from this person. Um, wanting to make some type of plans with you, ask you out on a date, wanting to have a conversation with you, but <laughs> we have not today on the bottom of the deck. So they're procrastinating it a little bit, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundaries, still angry. Or they think that that's how you're, they're, when they come forward to you, that they think that's how what you're, this is the energy you're going to be in. So take what resonates. It could be a little bit of both. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.